Hello, sports fans. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, let's get right into the action. Looking at the Philadelphia Eagles, they've turned the page on Carson Wentz. Now you're looking truly at what this team has to offer. When you're looking at this young football team, this young football team is going to be led by Jalen Hurts. You're looking at what he can do when he gets outside the pocket. Fantastic. But what we're worried about is what he can do under center. Can he make all the big throws under center? Can he lead his football team in a year where he doesn't have a lot of talent on the outside? Can he really get up and down the field and make this team a better team offensively? And that's the big question. I know that a lot of people are happy they possibly could be keeping Zach Ertz. He was not traded in the offseason. He was not let go in the offseason. So that's a big thing for him. He's a shorthanded tight end catching machine. And when I tell you, having him on your team makes your team a better team. Going up against this Atlanta Falcons team, the defense is horrendous. But you have to think they still have added that young tight end from the state of Florida, uh, from the University of Florida, if you will. And they're going to be depending on him to play a little bit of that gadget tight end position where he lines up at wide receiver. Sometimes he lines up as the H-back. Sometimes he lines up as tight end. It's so many different things he can do. When you look at Travis Kelsey, when you look at Kettle uh, in San Francisco, it's he's in that same build and in that same mold. Matt Ryan is going to have to get him and Ridley in the game early. You also look at Hurst at the tight end position. So this is going to be an interesting matchup. Philly's defense is not the best. I like their linebacker play. I like their defensive line play, but their corners leave them susceptible to big plays. When you look at Matt Ryan in the offense uh, for the Falcons, they don't have an issue with making big plays. Their issues is keeping leads late. So they're going to light the Philadelphia Eagles up fairly early. I feel like that they're going to be able to put points up because Calvin Ridley is still there. Calvin Ridley can still hoop uh, as far as uh, getting the ball on the field. He can still do everything you want him to do. Even though Julio Jones is in Tennessee, it's not going to be the same kind of offense, but I think they'll still be able to score pretty much the same kind of premium points. So I think Matt Ryan's going to have a big day against the Philadelphia Eagles, and I think that the Atlanta Falcons are going to pull out a victory against the Philadelphia Eagles in week one. I just don't think Jalen is ready for the primetime moment yet. Um, and I just think from a standpoint of what the Eagles have, this team is missing a lot of pieces that they really need, and they don't have a lot of healthy pieces to move around with. And I don't think they have the capital to go get the guys that they really want. So I think that they're making do with what they have for this year. And then next year, they're going to the draft heavy, 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 trying to find the next starting players. But right now, I think that the Philadelphia Eagles are going to lose this one in week one. So are you Eagles fans? Are you Falcons fans? Get in the comment section right now and tell me what you think about my prediction. And as always, we thank you so very much for checking out Sports Choice Plus. Hit the fave like and subscribe for the YouTube channel. And as always, we thank you so very much.